Hello. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who's found himself targeted, exposed to more gallons, and tortured and tormented in more ways than I can count. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is uh, to show you my tea. I'm making tea. This is my uh, my closest attempt at Amazon rainforest healing medicine. Now let's think. What do we put in the tea? Well, <clears throat> we have um, something called borage, which I believe is uh, from Peru. It is a. Uh, I'm gonna turn this down. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is uh, or an herb from Peru that. Uh, is used to clear out the respiratory system and comfort discomfiture uh, through seasonal you know flu and and whatever which I'm suffering from flu on top of fungal morgellons whatever anyway uh, there's coriander in here uh, coriander seeds there's hibiscus uh, Jamaican hibiscus there is uh, Time. There is sage, clary sage, I believe. There is uh, uh, rosemary, thyme. I said that one already. Nutmeg, uh, uh, Aeneas. Um, let me think. What else? Uh, a few more things, and then there's the the green the tea bags, which are these delicious looking things here. Uh, the tea bags are now this is uh, a very red brew. In the tea bags, what do we got? La 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 la, something called detox tea, which has in it sarsaparilla, cinnamon, ginger root, licorice root, burdock root, dandelion root, cardamom pod, which I put in already, uh, organic clove bud, which I didn't have this time, black pepper, juniper berry, Long pepper berry, philodendron, philodendron bark, organic rhubarb, Chinese skullcap root, coptis root, forsythia root, gardenia root, Japanese honeysuckle flower. That sounds so sensual, doesn't it? Japanese honeysuckle. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, winter melon seed. Warning! Consult your healthcare provider prior to use if you are, if you have a medical condition. Yeah, because they have to pretend that this isn't medicine, it's just food. So, food it is. Uh, then there's this, this one, the Bigelow uh, green tea with pomegranate. Uh, green tea gives it a nice bah, base. Green tea has also many antioxidants. This one tooth is really getting to me. Uh, and uh, one and pomegranate, of course. Antioxidants, and it gives it that delicious fruity flavor with the hibiscus. Uh, the borel, borel. Or whatever it's called, boral root. The flower, whatever, it's got some purple and white and anyway, that's my tea, my my um, Let me put the cover back on so all the essential oils don't evaporate off. Uh, I gotta go out of the house. I'm gonna turn this off for a little while and then I'll come back and I'll let it boil later. Um uh. I found a, a air filter. Um, I forget the name of the con company. It's a HEPA air filter. I was walking home. Uh, dear health. Oh. 
Well, that one is good. That one is my my last brew. I didn't have quite as many uh, herbs and stuff in it. <clears throat> that one is a lot of ginger, clove, cinnamon, um, and, and again a bunch of herbal detox teas and a bunch of others. I, I've been making this stuff for a while now and drinking it until I vomit and then drinking it some more. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm really uh, not doing so well physically. This liquid fungal life form that covers my eyes and lives inside of me and... <laughs> drowning me this stuff is killing me I spent the last three days you know wondering if God is gonna send somebody to come and collect me or not and uh, here I am you know after three days of vomiting and moaning and screaming and wondering if you'd be better off dead and yeah, just and the, the, the high frequency screaming in my head and and all I can see is that guy's face the one who ah, it doesn't matter it's another story but um I just wanted to share that and, and um, everything else for another story thank you for watching and I hope and pray that you people are having a better time with this than I am I really don't like to look at myself much anymore because I almost don't recognize I, I don't frequently I don't recognize myself the shape of my head changes regularly because I got so much of this muckus flukus stuff in there that moves around and when they heat it up with the microwaves or something it gets all hard and crusty and then it turns into liquid and pours out and it hurts so much the pain of your head being you know last night I was like just sitting there ah, you know trying not to let it hurt so much the pain that I deal with is, you know, I know it's not the worst pain you could ever have, but I'm telling you, it's, it's there. And, and this whole thing, you know, I, I'm, I, I want to be able to fight this thing. I want to be able to survive this. And if not, then I want peace of mind, you know? Um, I don't know, I have uh, lots of other stories to tell, so I'll tell them at some other time. I gotta go and get some paint to paint this air cleaner thing so I can clean it up, because Petra's really uh, paranoid about dust and things in the house and dirt from other places, and even though the stuff is coming off of us and is in us, and my God. Anyway, I turned 50 the other day on the 17th. Uh, happy birthday to me. So, um, thank you for watching and God bless you all. So, when all is said and done, I have this wonderful dark red herbal decoction I made two bottles of it yummy and to your health
of good. It's got the hibiscus uh, fruity taste. With some seriously bitter alkaloids with the other things. It has some phenylethylamines. It has antioxidants. It has caffeine. Unfortunately, it has a little bit of sugar. I put some brown sugar because I didn't have honey and it's really hard to take it straight. And a little tiny bit of sugar. And uh, it's actually quite good. And why am I making this? Well, I don't know. My desperate attempt at, at trying to cure myself. <laughs> some horrible thing they did to me. Whether it's the flu or more gallons or, you know, Lord knows what. <laughs> Excuse me. I have a lot of uh, liquid Excuse me, liquid uh, fungus or bacteria or mucus or Lord knows what it is They're filling my lungs and drowning me. Uh, and some of these things are supposed to help you expectorate and loosen up some of the phlegm. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway, it's got vitamin C. <laughs> yeah, I have so much crap inside of my, you know, I have a, a like, a, I don't know, it's some kind of liquid, you know, mucoid, like slime mold, you know, something that's liquid that can move around. It's sentient and it seems to be, you know, I don't know, I'm just saying that. <clears throat> it's quorum sensing, it knows when others of its type are around and how much. That's what quorum sensing means. And uh, uh, I've drank almost the whole bottle so far, so. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this stuff can be kind of expensive here in the States. You know, all these herbs and whatever. I think I spent about 20 bucks just for... Uh, but I'm sure it'll make, you know, three, four batches of tea. Um, I boil it with the herbs on a light boil with a cover so I don't lose too much... Uh, whatever you want to call it. And um, then filter it and the, the material that's left to make the tea... Uh, I put water in again, I boil it some more, and then I mix the, the two extractions or the decoctions together for the final brew. And uh, I've been doing this for a while when I have the money to buy a few things and trying out different herbs and trying to see if they make much of a difference. And I don't really know, I'm just, just trying everything, you know? <clears throat> I figure, if it's good for your health, if it supports your immune system, if it helps detox a, a toxified system, which I know I have, um, if it kills parasites, if it kills fungus, if it kills bacteria, if it, you know, anything good, uh, it's worth, uh, worth looking into. Um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.